Hello and welcome to your mom and dad bod workout of the day. The alternating reverse lunge two arm pull is exactly as it's described. You are simply doing your reverse lunge, alternating from side to side, and then you are pulling the band with two arms to your chest. You can either pull at the same time you're lunging or you can lunge first and then pull, it is up to you. The alternating forward lunge to arm press is essentially the same thing, but you're just putting your thing down, flipping and reverse it, where you're lunging forward now and then pressing the band away from your chest. So as you'll see, you'll step inside the band, lunge forward, make sure that knee's not tracking way over the foot, press forward, bring it back with control. To set up the torture twist, you essentially get into a recumbent position or like a mid crunch. So it will help if you can put your feet under something for support. Take your hands, put them over your chest. Make sure your low back is not rounded. So you wanna push your chest up into your hands a bit so you're in a neutral spine. From here, you wanna control rotation from left to right, slowly going back and forth. And tips for the reverse lunge pull is that you don't have to use two arms. You can do a single arm pull like this, sort of like a maybe a lawnmower pull, and this creates a little bit more challenge and stability in your body. It just changes it up. Just make sure you're using some good tension. It's not too light, and it's also not too heavy where you're struggling to get through. It's the same thing with the press. You can go worn armor as well. The only difference here, it's a little tough to find that sweet spot of using the right band as well as having enough tension if you're you know, more forward from the anchor or closer to the anchor. So it can be, you need a little testing there. Uh, the only thing to remember is you're doing one arm now when you're alternating the lunge. So make sure you're switching arms per round. A tip for the twists, as many of you will not be able to get your feet underneath something, so you won't be able to get in as steep of a position as I am here, is that you sit down, get your neutral spine, lean back slowly until that last point of control, hold there and do your twist there. You'll still get really good stimulus in that position. That's all for cues, tips and tricks. If you're running a little hot, take your pants off and we'll see you at the end.
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I
Okay, so we got done with that workout. Um, lunges, pulls, presses, and then that torture twist of a core move there. Uh, a few things I've noticed doing that is one, is if you maintain tension in the pull or the press while you go through the lunge and then press and pull, you're gonna maintain that tension which means you get, you get more muscle activation, so you get more out of it. So if you wanna make it a little harder, other than reducing the, or using a heavier band or lighter band or going different cadence, you can maintain that tension in the band as opposed to letting it relax as you go up and down. So I did that near the end. Uh, if your hands get a little irritated, use some gloves. Nothing wrong with doing that. You're not less of a person for using gloves. That's helpful. Um, you also saw in there too, I did some two arm presses and pulls. I also switched from side to side, right arm, left arm. So you can do any variations of this. Uh, variety is key. Uh, it's, these are principles, the moves, but you can uh, vary them in any way you want to meet your needs to make it harder, um, more difficult. Um, faster, more uh, higher heart rate, more um, challenge in your muscles either way. I felt like with this one, what I did, not a super high of a heart rate, but I know that I felt a lot of that core control, muscle activation, that sort of thing. So it's all, it's all a good workout, but it can easily be modified to be more of a cardio-like workout. Um, the core move, the only part with that is you gotta find something to put your feet under, but you sit in that crunch-like position, and I kept somewhat of a recumbent angle. If you angle that down even more without excessively arching or rounding your back, you're gonna get a ton of activation in your core there, and you're gonna start shaking. And when you maintain that and do those little rotations, it gets killer. So that one is, uh, whatever you want, however, however you wanna push yourself with that one, it's, um, it's forever difficult. So if you're really, really good at it at a low angle, just grab yourself a weight and that's gonna really challenge you. Uh, for that, thanks for uh, doing the workout. Until next one.